We'll guide you through how to use the Rethermo Timpro, Rethermo Timpro Plus, clinical grade tympanic thermometer. Inside the box, you'll find the following items. Clinical instruction, instructions for use, the Rethermo Timpro or Rethermo Timpro Plus thermometer, a probe cover cassette, two trays of 10 probe covers each, and two AA alkaline batteries. To replace the batteries, open the battery cover. Insert two 1.5 volt AA alkaline batteries, ensuring the correct polarity. Close the cover, and you'll hear a beep confirming that the batteries are properly installed. Turn on the thermometer by pressing the center button above the screen. To switch between Celsius and Fahrenheit, press the left center button labeled CF. To replace the probe cover, insert the thermometer probe into a new cover within the probe cover cassette. You'll hear two clicks when the new cover is securely attached. Lift the probe out of the cassette without touching the cover. Your Rethermo Timpro, Rethermo Timpro plus thermometer is now ready for use. Gently place the probe with a new probe cover into the ear canal. Ensure that the probe shaft is aligned with the ear canal. Insert the probe slowly and gently to avoid discomfort. Press and release the center top button briefly. A beep will signal that the measurement is complete in one to two seconds and the thermometer can be removed. During the measurement, the indicator will blink and turn solid blue when the measurement is done. If the temperature is lower than 32 degrees Celsius, 89.5 degrees Fahrenheit, the display will turn red and show low. Conversely, if the temperature exceeds 43 degrees Celsius, 109.5 degrees Fahrenheit, the display will also turn red but will show high. A new probe cover must be used for each reading, as Timpro will not allow a second reading without replacing the cover. To discard the used probe cover, press the eject button on top of the device and place the cover in a clinical waste bin or recycling facility according to local guidelines. When all the probe covers have been used, replace the empty tray with a new one. Secure each tray by listening for an audible click. To clean the unit, use a cloth moistened with 70% isopropyl alcohol, ethyl alcohol, or 0.5% hydrogen peroxide. For the probe lens, use a cloth slightly moistened with 70% isopropyl alcohol or ethyl alcohol, or a dry cotton swab. Handle the probe cover ejector, white tab, with care to avoid damage.